Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 5 assignment 5 answers of the course Introduction to Machine Learning. Please subscribe my channel. I will upload all the assignment answers of this course in this channel. So the first question is given a three layer neutral network which takes in uh, 10 inputs has five hidden units and outputs 10 outputs. Now how many parameters are present in this network? So the answer will be option A that is 115. And this is the proof that is 115. Okay. Now question number two, the answer will be adding a third dimension Z equal to X into Y. You can see option B that is adding a third dimension Z equal to X into Y. Now coming to question number three, the answer will be none of the above. Now here you can see that question number three, the answer will be option D that is none of the above. Now the solution is also given. Now question number 4, in a basic neural network, which of the following is generally considered a good initialization strategy for the weights? So the answer will be option C. Here you can see question number 4, option C will be the answer. I already uploaded some videos in this course. So if you face some difficulties in understanding the NPTEL lecture, then please go to my video. I will give the link in my description so please go and watch you will clearly understand the concept now question number five which of the following is the primary reason for rescaling input features before passing them to a neutral network so the answer will be option b now question number six the answer will be option b p theta by d is the posterior and p d by theta is the like likelihood and p theta is the prior and p d is the evidence you can see solution B. The same thing is written here. Now question number 7. Why do we often use log likelihood maximization instead of directly maximizing the likelihood in statistical learning? So the answer will be option C. Here you can see the answer will be option C. Now question number 8. The answer will be option A. Yes, with infinite data, the influence of the prior becomes negligible and you will convert uh, to the true underlying solution so the answer will be option a you can see here now question number nine the answer will be option a statement is true and reason is false and that is the answer now question number 10 the answer will be a and d so you can see that option a and option d so submit the answer please subscribe my channel if you get some help from this video thank you for watching the video see you in the next video